Greetings everyone. Welcome back to Genshin Impact. Today we are going to talk about a very important topic. It's about Ryota Slay. So Ryota Slay's releasing date is closing in and some people are confused about whether they should pull on Ryota Slay or not. Now there are two reasons why people are confused. First is, is he good or not? And second is, he might join the standard banner. There is a leak about that. Some people are saying it's the same person who said they yeah, will join the standard banner. Now, joining standard banner is kind of sad. But let's view his kit. Everything about Ryo the Slay is very cool. His design, his kit, everything. Now, the first thing I'm going to say about his kit is it's very reliable. Unlike the other standard banner character, he has many ways of dealing damage. First of all, he is a Rio Catalyst character which will make his build very easy because we're going to use the Blizzard Strayer's artifact set of course. And for Rio Teslay, the other thing is his elemental skill consumes his HP but there is a good point as well because his passive heals you if your HP is under 60%. Heals you up to 30% so if you have a healer like Barbara so you will be fine. Just a normal healer is enough. You don't need a very strong healer. For anyone who doesn't know the artifact Blizzard Strayer, this is the icon. You can find it in the peak of Windiger or something. Wait, let me check it out for you. Okay, so it was the peak of Windagnir. And here is the Blizzard Strayer set. Oh, oops, I get the feathers icon. But yes, it aesthetically looks kind of same. So there is many reason for why you should choose Blizzard Strayer set for Ryota Slay. The first of all is he's a Cryo Catalyst and freezing an opponent is very easy. With the Cryo Resonance you will like get 55% I guess, 55% of crit rate. So his ascension start is actually crit damage. Because his ascension start is crit damage, if you can focus a good amount of crit damage on his other artifacts except the one that you get crit damage on, the circlet. If you get like 25% crit damage each artifact, his crit damage will be awesome. And if you have a weapon like the Weed Seed, or probably his signature weapon is good as, I mean, signature weapon is always the best. But Nebulator's weapon probably going to work on him as well. So the Nebulator Ryota's Slash weapon banner is not bad because Nebulata gives 88% of crit damage boost, plus some base attack, which is actually great. Also, it increases your charge attack damage, so Nebulata's weapon is also great for Ryota Slay, and Ryota Slay's weapon is, of, of course, gonna be good for Ryota Slay. Now, let's jump onto that team composition. Now, the team composition is very important, but I will give the only free-to-play team, because I don't feel like giving the money teams and you can get it from your common sense that money teams is gonna include Shenhe kind of people and even better Kazuha kind of people so this is the Ryota's less premium team and Kokomi yeah because you need a healer as well and Kokomi as a hydro applier is great and Kazuha is gonna do the rest of work and Shenhe is gonna increase the damage yeah blah blah very OP but you don't have that many 5 star character do you? So let me give you the F2P team. And people who have it, well, that's awesome. You can already do the Spiral Abyss if you get like Ryota Slay. And you can get Ryota Slay C6 because you have... Okay, so let's continue about the team composition. First, let's talk about our cute Liyue character, Sinkyu. Sinkyu is one of the best free-to-play character for any free team because Sinkyu is a very good Hydro Applier. And then the very well known Shy Monster character, Sucross. She is gonna be a great character for Swear, and Freeze Team needs some Swear. And you can also increase your Cryo damage by 45% if you equip her with the Virdis and Vernet. And build her on Elemental Mastery. I think that's the best option. And now for the healer, it's Monsters, Cat's Tales, Bartender, Fiona. You have probably already guessed it because you need someone to fulfill that Creo Resonance. If not, then you're gonna lose your 15% crit rate chance. 
which is not a good idea. So if Fritz Team Comp needs a Creo Resonance and as the healer, Fiona is the best healer for free. And for some reason you don't have Fiona, then the Team Comp is gonna change a lot because hmm, then it's gonna be kind of so that's the build and team composition of Rio Tesla as his kit is leaked and I believe that's the last leak about his kit and it is the confirmed kit of him. I am still not sure about whether he will join the standard banner or not but it doesn't matter. This team composition and build will help you on your Rio Tesla journey and if you get him then that's actually not a bad thing because remember Signari actually can complete spiral levels. And Ryotasle will also be able to do that easily because he is a Creo Catalyst and Freeze Team, Freeze team is a deadly team combination. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you next time. And also, good luck on your 50 50.